What is up designers, this is Nikos from Ninja Graphics and welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Uh, in this video, as the title explains, obviously we're going to learn how to put a tattoo uh, on a body in an image. Uh, so this is ideal if you are about to get a tattoo and you don't really know um, how it's going to look on your body. Uh, you can pull up your Photoshop and start doing what I'm going to show you um, in the following footage uh, and uh, see for yourself how different variations of the uh, tattoo are going to look on your body. So let's get started. Um, this is going to be the end, end result, by the way. Um, so first thing you want to do is obviously put uh, the image of you uh, or whatever you're doing uh, in Photoshop and then put an image of the tattoo that you want to put. And basically, I highly recommend that that tattoo uh, image that you put has a white background to it uh, because it's going to make um, things way easier for you. So the first thing you want to do is select the tattoo layer um, and then you put the uh, blending mode to multiply right here. So that's going to remove completely the white um, and uh, leave us with uh, purely the, the darker colors. And so as you can see right now, it's not really fitting the image because we want to uh, maybe transform it a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, you can simply press Control or Command T on your keyboard to uh, make the free selection. Or you can simply go to um, Edit and then uh, trans Free Transform right here. So uh, I'm just going to tilt it a little bit to the left to match the body. Um, and then I'm going to put it right about there. Now, and then I'm going to press Enter. And now um, the thing is uh, that you can see that the 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 position of the girl um, makes her back stretch a little bit. So you would also see the, the tattoo would also be stretching because of the position, right? So we need to do something about that. Now, what we can do is uh, control T again, transform tool, and then right click and warp. And that is going to allow us to warp the image as we want it. So I'm just going to stretch it um, like according to where the body is going, like where, where the skin is going. So stretch it a little bit like that from both sides and then um, maybe do something like that too. And then press enter and we get a more realistic look on it. Now, um, obviously we wanna hide the um, unnecessary or, or something that goes behind this um, clothing. So instead of going straight to the eraser tool and deleting it, uh, what we want to do instead is create um, a layer mask. You can find this right here. And when you click the layer mask, uh, you basically paint over with your black um, paintbrush and black erases. And then if you make a mistake, you can simply go to white color and then um, that kind of reveals it back so you don't really lose anything. So I'm just going to quickly remove the parts that are not necessary. There we go. A little bit here as well. And then here as well. You want to select a brush that is not too hard and not too soft either. So somewhere between the, um, with, with like hardness of 50 or 54 would do. Okay. So now we can see that it's, it's, um, it looks obviously way more realistic. And, uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to match the tattoo colors with the with the background. So we can see that here, it's a bit blurry. So since the tattoo is closed, it's also going to be blurry. So what we want to do is we want to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and make it a little bit more blurry. So I'm just going to go with something like one point. Um, it may be different for you. Um, but you can see now that is way, way more realistic than it was before. And the last thing we want to do is like, this is a little bit too much color. So we want to reduce the opacity down so that it kind of reveals the skin behind it as well. 
Uh, so I'm going to leave it around 70 opacity. Uh, maybe that's a little bit too bland. So 75 up to 80. I think that looks good. Okay. So pretty much that's it. And um, there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, leave a like and uh, leave a comment. Uh, tell me how it goes with you.